let out there. David was electric here in a 1966 velvet green VW Microbus. Wonderful gray day here today in San Diego. It's not sunny every day. Uh, that's okay. This car is headed up north to Washington and it's going to go spend the um, next few years out on an island. Hopefully many, many, many years. I love the shade of green. It's uh, really going to be a perfect fit up in the northwest. VW called it velvet green. Uh, the interior is called platinum. It's a walkthrough model and we sourced it for a client uh, in Seattle uh, right here in Huntington Beach. It's a deluxe. It has polished aluminum trim, a clock, safari windows, and uh, it's going to spend time now on an island located with deer. Uh, so it has what's called a, a deer alert or a deer whistle. Okay, I don't know what the deer are going to think about it, but it um, does get the dog's attention. It makes for a good backup sound, too. Quick rundown of the new specs for this build. Uh, 32 kilowatt hour Tesla battery pack, a liquid cooled Tesla battery pack. Uh, gives this bus a range of about 80 to 90 miles. 95 horsepower all electric AC motor and dual chargers for faster charging. Uh, zero to 100% in about three to four hours. And something we've been wanting to do for a long time now is an analog looking fuel gauge. This one runs off of the battery management system from Orion and Stealth EV. And uh, it's really simple. It's just invisibly modern, just the way we like it. Uh, you really have to look close uh, to tell it's not stock. And that's what we're always trying to keep in balance, a very stock look with more dependable performance. We also added a heater to this one since it's going to go into a colder climate. We have three as electrics up in Seattle now, and they all have heaters. They also have killer sound systems. Um, Alpine and Focal make for a nice mix, and um, this may be one of the last CD players we'll use. It looks like they're going to be phasing them out, the CD players, that is. But uh, I really like including them because I made about a thousand of them back in the 90s. Anyway, here's our standard charge port right where you'd expect it. Uh, we also include a newly rebuilt four-speed transmission from Paradise Motorsports. And uh, around the island, they'll probably just leave it in third gear. Second will be good for getting a start on a big hill. And fourth will be used back on the mainland highways. Safari windows will provide the AC. LED lights all around. And uh, easy access backup switch on the dash. And uh, let's see, all new steering components, disc brakes, regen braking, a dual master cylinder, gas shocks, sway bars, and we're even using a camber compensator in the rear, which I've never done on a swaying axle bus before, but uh, I tried it. It really helps with the added weight of the batteries. Like our other buses, the middle seat is the battery box, and inside there we've hidden six Tesla Model S modules and the Orion battery management system and the liquid cooling system for the battery. Um, that's about it. Um, nice aluminum roof rack on the top. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this far. Uh, if you'd like us to create a custom all electric bus for you, email me, david at zelectric.com. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook for all the day-to-day -day adventures here um, in the, well, most of the time, sunny San Diego. Uh, over and out, and keep your phasers set to stun.